Hi guys, we're here with Naruto for Blender. In this one, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a um, light setup with hard ups for this cool scene. So let's say that you know you had a scene like this and you want to light it up really quickly and you don't want to bother with setting up lights. Uh, well, you can do it uh, kind of automatically with hard ups. So you simply go to operations and add lights. And you can see that now you have lights being added to your scene. Now, if I zoom, up, zoom out a little bit, you can see them better. So when I move my mouse left and right, I can move them about. And if I scroll my mouse, I can scroll them uh, in different formations. So uh, Hardup is going to generate automated sets of lights. If you press E, you can change lights to a different type of lights. Like, for example, add some sunlights and spotlights. Press E again, and they're going to disappear. In addition to all this, you can save it. So you can press Shift S and type a name of a, of a, a scene um, that you chosen so you know scene light one and you save it and then you bring them with j but anyway what i want to show you in this video is something uh, a little bit uh, different so what what about if let's say we you know we set the scene uh, lights like this but i wanted to adjust them a little bit okay i wanted to change the lights um the light position if i started to to move this light you see that uh it was take a lot of effort because I'll need to, you know, change my camera view and move it up, move it down, etc. Right, and point it back on this object. Well, you can do it very easily with hard ups, which, uh, if you click this option here, uh, blank light constraint, what it will do, right, um, it will uh, introduce uh, constraints to all these lights. So, um, you can see that now if I change my scene lights, I mean the, the lights in the scene, you can see these lines being connected to the empty that is actually inside of this box. Because you cannot see that, but there is an empty inside of um, of the scene which lights are constrained to. So now if I'm going to start moving these lights, you can see that they actually uh, focus on that, whatever is in the middle, in this case the cube. So I can, you know, res reshape them, resize them, move them closer, move them up, whatever the, whatever the hell I want, and change my, uh, you know, lights this way. Now, if you're going to go from, uh, if you cannot see these lights in look depth, what you need to do is simply turn on scene lights in here, uh, and this one is for the HDRI. Since my HDRI is not actually loaded, uh, it doesn't show up. And if you go to uh, render settings uh, to be able to see the scene lights, you do need to uh, turn on scene lights and turn off scene world unless you have an HDR loaded. And by the way, I would suggest that you um, load HDR anyway, because things going to simply look better. So let's say I'm going to load my HDR here. Right? And there you go. And I can actually reduce its strength. So I could put it at something really, really, really dim. So the light's gonna be actually more powerful than the HDR itself, but it will provide some light nonetheless. So there you go, guys. That's uh, how you set up lights in hard ups and how you can constrain them uh, very easily to um, to the to the object and focus them on the object that you want to render. That's it for this video, guys. Hope it helps you out. If you want to buy hard ups and box cutter or machine add-ons, there are links in the video description, affiliate links. So if you're going to go through the links, you're going to help me as well. It doesn't cost you anything. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.